I talked in another video about the Taurus PT-22. Well, that gun really isn't something that you want to go to the range and practice with. This gun right here is called a Walther Arms P-22. First, let's do the safety check. It has a little lever right here, and you pull the lever down, and then take the magazine out. And then this one does have a slide action where you slide it back, and then you can check and see that it is empty. There's no ammo in there, so we're safe. So this gun is the P-22 from Walther Arms, which is W-A-L-T-H-E-R. If you want to look up online and get some more information, this particular, they come in all kinds of things, nickel, black, and there's a military version. Um, there's a few special editions. I think one is a pink tiger stripe. Um, this one is the Desert Camo. I actually like the look of this one. Um, I really do like black guns, but this one I do like. I live in the desert, so maybe that has something to do with it. But there are a few special things on this gun um, that when I was learning, I would have wanted to know. The first thing is that with this gun, in some of my other guns, like the Taurus, up is safe and down is fire. So this one's a little bit different, whereas if you flip it down, there's a little S right there. See if you can see that. See the S? That means that it's on safe now because you're seeing the S. So when you flip it up and you're ready to fire, there's a little F right there. And that F means that it's ready to fire. So up is fire and down is safe, which is a little different than a few other guns I have. So it's a little different. Um, this does also have, you can put an Allen wrench in here and adjust for sight elevation. The other thing about this gun is that once you unload it like this, you cannot really practice dry firing. Um, as we did, we checked to make sure that it's safe. There's nothing in there. Now, we can't dry fire it like this because when we pull the trigger, nothing happens. Another safety feature of this gun is that when it's like this, it has to have an empty magazine inserted in it before the hammer will drop forward. So that was another thing when I did take it out to the range that I felt a little silly because I didn't understand um, the safety and then also the other safety down here. So once you realize that this one's just got a few extra features like that, then it makes it a lot easier. Uh, it does have this Picatinny rail right here. So my husband actually got a little laser light for it, which is an ambidextrous laser light. It's very easy. You just put it on the rail like that, and then you just tighten this screw right here. And super, super easy to get it on like that. And then ambidextrous, it has these little buttons right here. You can do it from either side, and the laser's on, and then you can turn it off. So if you did want to use this with a laser or a light, um, you just install it right under there. Super easy, inexpensive, um, and just a neat little gun. Uh, this has been very, very, very accurate. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, so you can start getting the feel of a larger gun. Um, I would definitely suggest this um, before you start shooting a 9mm. If you do feel like you need to get used to the recoil, this is an excellent, excellent gun to start with. So again, so Walther P22, look into it, check it out. This is what I took when I started firearms um, training, and I absolutely loved it. So highly recommend it. Go ahead and email me if you have any questions. 